Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will share with you a new Google Docs Notes tutorial. Also stay tuned until the end because I will share with you on how you can have a copy of this template. And yes, I have my laptop here and let's get right into it. For the first step, of course, you have to open Google Docs on your browser. Choose a blank document, then click on the File tab. Click the Page Setup option and choose the paper size you'll be using. And in this case, I will be using a B5 size paper. And you can copy the page margins here to maximize the space. You can also choose a page color that you like, then press OK. Next, let's go to Color Hunt that Code to look for a palette. So this is not required, but I do suggest you should have a palette so that you will have a more cohesive notes. So once you choose the one that you like, click on it, and it will have some color codes which will be your guide later on. So going back to Google Docs, you can first rename the notes you'll be doing. And now let's proceed with the title area. So to start, go to the Insert tab and click on a new drawing. So under the shapes option, I will choose this. I will choose a circle, but you can use other shapes you prefer. After placing a circle, open the palette from color hand and uh, click on a color code so it will automatically copy it. Back to Google Docs on the shapes fill option, paste the code here and you can make some adjustments if you want to make it lighter or darker. Then duplicate the shape. You can also change the color of other circles. So, and uh, this is what it currently looks like. Next, I will place more circles between them, adjust their size, and place some fill color. Select the shapes, right click, and group them. You can add a text box and place the title of your notes here. Modify the text by changing the text's font size and color. You can also add another text box under it and place a subtitle of the lesson. You can then click save and close. So here I decided to change the theme of the template I am creating. So I'm going now for a pastel or cotton candy theme. I also used a gradient shape fill instead of a solid color. And this is what it looks like. And let's now proceed to the notes part. So first is to insert a new drawing to your document. Then here add a shape. So I just use this design add a shape fill so preferably a light color for the first shape a darker one on the other which will serve as a shadow to the shape in front next is to double click on the shape and paste the additional notes you want to include here then modify the text click save and close adjust the size and under the insert tab you can insert an image you can either upload it from your device or search for it online. So resize it and choose the break text option to place it beside your notes and to maximize the space. Under it, you can add a subtopic title and a drawing with a bunch of circles. This will serve as a design beside the subtopic title and I just applied the different colors from the palette here then click save and close so if you're using some bullets for your notes you can use other bullet design by choosing one from these different options you can duplicate the subtopic title if you want to use it you can use a couple of shapes and a connector line to have this flowchart design can add a title there and some definitions under it. So use an elbow connector to connect the ideas on your notes easily. You can also modify the shapes and lines by changing their colors and thickness. 
Repeat the process until you add the terms and definitions under this specific subtopic. Next, you can add another shape, and by double-clicking on it, you can easily add some text. Here, you can place some important definitions, so modify the text and can also change the bullet styles. Next, on the Actions drop-down menu, you can see a word art option, and which will allow you to add a shape, fill, and an outline at the same time to the word. So I use this word art feature for the word definitions, but of course you can use this on other text. You can change its font and the text feel and the outline color. You can add another shape that will serve as a shadow. Adjust its size until it fits beside the definitions shape. Another idea for how you can add your notes in Google Docs is to make use of the table. You can add a title and some explanations or examples under it. You can also modify the table here in Google Docs. You can change the fill color and the outline's thickness and color. Do some adjustments and here is the result. You can definitely change other things like choosing your color palette, styles, shapes, and more. So if you want to have a copy of the template I created, I have the instructions or guides down in the description box. So this is included in a Google Docs link. So you can just open it and follow the instructions. That is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!